Welcome to the newest, freshest and the most comprehensive tutorial on how to mod your Beat Saber. As you know, the new Beat Saber version 1.13.2 is recently released and all Beat Saber mods needed to be updated. Beat Saber modders have been working very hard to make these mods compatible so that we can continue enjoying these awesome additions to Beat Saber. I'm happy to announce that most of these mods have been successfully updated to work with this new Beat Saber version and in this tutorial I will show you how to patch your Beat Saber to enjoy them all and go over some troubleshooting options. If you run into any issues or have more questions, please join the official Beat Saber modding community on Discord and visit the dedicated wiki page as it always has up-to-date modding procedures. Please remember to subscribe to this channel to show your appreciation for these detailed tutorials. I will keep updating this video with any changes that might happen to the modding process after the release of this video, but please keep in mind that any major changes to the game might make this video outdated, so read the description and read the pinned comment, there might be some very important information there. I also added timestamps in the description of this video and all the links that you will need in the process. If you're ready, let's go! First, it's important to know how to back up your gaming data, such as your high scores, before we start patching. Connect your quest to your computer, open SideQuest, and follow this path. Android, Data, Beat Saber, and this folder called Files. Save on a computer all the files that have the extension DAT. You don't need the files with the extension back. To back up your files, click on the floppy disk icon in front of each file you want to back up and save it on your computer in a separate folder so that you know where it is. When you are finished patching your Beat Saber, you will go to the same directory and simply drag and drop your backed up files here. If you don't know how to install SideQuest or even if you don't know what SideQuest is, please watch my simple tutorial on how to set it up and then come back to this video. If you have an old version of Beat Saber, like me, then when you start it, it will prompt you to update the game. Don't update it, but instead completely uninstall it from your quest. You can also do it from SideQuest by clicking on Currently Installed Apps button, and here you can also uninstall BMBF if you have a previous version installed on your quest. Now go ahead and install Beat Saber. You'll get the newest version. If you are already on the newest version of Beat Saber, just make sure to completely uninstall BMBF so that your Beat Saber is unmodded. Make sure you open and play the game at least once after you install it. After that, on your PC, go to the following website bmbf.dev slash stable. Here you will find this update to the newest Beat Saber, bmbf version 113.3. Click on the APK file and save it on your computer. You will find the link to this website in the description. Now go back to SideQuest and remember that it has to be connected to your quest. Drag and drop this bmbf APK file here to install it. After that, put on your VR set and go to Apps. Select Unknown Sources and then click on BMBF. Simply follow the steps that you will see in the window. It will ask you to uninstall the current version of your Beat Saber, so do that. And after that, it will install the patched version of Beat Saber. At one point, it will ask you to restore the game to its original version and make sure to click Close. Do not actually restore your game. Also, when the installation is complete, click on Done. Do not click on Open because you shouldn't try to open the game yet. While still wearing your VR set, you will see this BMBF browser window. Because this app won't allow me to record the screen in VR, I will put this disclaimer here so that you remember that these steps should be done while wearing your Quest. In this window, you need to click on this red button, Sync to Beat Saber, in the top right corner. Doing so will install five core mods which are necessary for all other mods to work. Ping Core, Goodbye Bug, Code Gen, Custom Types, and Quest UI. All of them are very important for the game to function properly and for you to install other mods. If you've had an older version of BMBF previously installed, then you'll get this message asking you to restore your playlists. Click Restore and it will bring all your old custom songs back. However, it will also bring back some old mods which you will need to remove since they most probably will not be compatible with this version of BMBF. There might be the case that you are unable to click the sync button because it's covered by the menu. If that happens, simply restart the app, either using SideQuest and for stopping BMBF 
or by completely rebooting your Quest system. You can also go to this Tools page and then hit Exit BMBF. You can then reopen BMBF after it closes. After you click the Sync button, your core mods will be synced with your Beat Saber and you will be able to start the game. You will also be able to see all core mods here by clicking on this Mods tab. Make sure that all five mods are enabled and delete all the other mods that you may have here. If one of the core mods turns itself off after you try to enable it, then simply delete it and hit the Sync button. The missing core mod will re-download itself and after that you should be able to enable it. To check if your core mods are functioning properly, when you start Beat Saber, you should see this notice board on the right. Additional indicator is when you're playing, the sabers will now leave burn marks on the floor. If you see these, then your core mods are installed and are working and you're ready to mod the game. You may run into an issue when you start Beat Saber, but instead of playing, the game crashes. In that case, open BMBF, go to Tools and hit Reset Assets. Once that is done, hit Reload Songs folder to get your songs back. After that, you will need to go back to the browser and click on this globe button and select Quest Board. Just a reminder, all these steps should be done in your VR set. In the window that will open, click Download Mods. Scroll down a little bit and you will see this huge button that says Download All Core Mods. Hit that and your five core mods will be installed. Just remember to click the Sync button. In this page, you can install many other mods as well, but first, make sure to check if the core mods are working properly by starting Beat Saber. You should see the notice board to the right and the burn marks when you play a song. All right, so now we set up your patched game and prepared it to be modded. To find all available mods, open BMBF, click on the globe button, quest board and download mods. You will find some cool mods in here such as mapping extensions, beat together, song difficulty chart, slice visualizer and many others. And this collection of mods is constantly updating. Don't forget to hit sync button after you're done installing the mods that you want. If you're curious what these mods do, there is a cool video describing each mod and announcing upcoming mods as well. Make sure to check it out. I will leave the link to this video in the description. So now that I have downloaded a few mods and clicked sync, I will start Beat Saber. If you go to settings, you will now see that there are some settings available for each of your mod. You can turn on and off certain features and have a precise control over some mods. This UI element is completely new and it's very cool. You can also install custom 3D elements such as sabers, notes and walls, and you'll be able to switch between them inside the game, which is amazing. But this will be a topic for the next video. Make sure to subscribe to show your appreciation for this video and if you want to see more Beat Saber tutorials and other fun VR related content. Enjoy the mods and happy Beat Sabering!